Hello everyone. Now Harvey and I are both really disappointed that we're still not allowed to come in and see you. But we thought that perhaps we could read you a story from home. Harvey loves to have a bedtime story and I think if you watch him he might fall asleep whilst I'm reading this one. So let's see what happens shall we. So the book that I've got to read today is called Izzy and Skunk and it's by Marie Louise Fitzpatrick. I don't know if anyone else has read this one. I don't know this one. A little girl called Izzy had a skunk called Skunk. There's Izzy and there's Skunk. Isn't life wonderful, said Skunk. But scary, said Izzy. Izzy was afraid of the shadows in the dark. But Skunk wasn't. Izzy was afraid of falling down. But Skunk wasn't. Izzy was afraid of spiders, but Skunk wasn't. Izzy was afraid of making mistakes, but Skunk wasn't. Izzy got stage fright at the school show, but Skunk didn't. Izzy thought the dark, scary woods were dark and scary. So did Skunk. One day, Skunk got lost. Skunk! Skunk! called Izzy, but there was no answer. Izzy was going to have to go and look for Skunk all by herself. She looked under the bed where it was dark. Skunk wasn't there. She looked in the attic where there were spiders. Skunk wasn't there. She looked down the street where there were shadows, but there was no sign of Skunk anywhere. Well, look, there's a sign here that says Lost Skunk. I think she must have put that up. Then Izzy saw a crowd of people standing by her garden wall. Look, a skunk, said a little boy pointing up into the tree. Not any skunk, skunk, yelled Izzy. I'll save you, skunk, she called. Izzy climbed the tree. Everyone watched. She reached skunk just as he started to fall. Everyone gasped. Izzy caught Skunk. Everyone clapped as she climbed down. Izzy was dirty, but she didn't care. Life is wonderful, she said. But scary too, said Skunk. Don't worry, Skunk, said Izzy. I'll take care of you. And that's the end. Isn't that lovely? I hope we'll see you soon. I think he has fallen asleep, hasn't he? Take care. Bye.